First reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verses 1 to 10. Paul went on also to Derbe and to Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the believers in Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him, and he took him and had him circumcised because of the Jews who were in those places, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they went from town to town, they delivered to them for observance the decisions that had been reached by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and increased in numbers daily. They went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. When they had come opposite Mysia, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So, passing by Mysia, they went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia, pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. If the world hates you, be aware that it hated me before it hated you. If you belonged to the world, the world would love you as it own. Because you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, servants are not greater than their master. If they persecute me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. The Saving Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel, Jesus says, if the world hates you, be glad about it because he hated, it hated me first. And Jesus says, I took you out of the world, therefore it will hate you, because you are not going with the world. The famous English author G.K. Chesterton, he says, we do not want a church that will go with the world, but that will move the world. So not a church that will move with the world, but it will move the world. So, we are called to be such prophets, if I could add that term, because prophets, not only they were foretelling the future, they were the mouthpieces of God. That is their main task. Now, the prophet word has been abused by many. Uh, prophet is a person who is a mouthpiece of God. And we are supposed to tell the world what is correct and what is wrong, not to move with the world. If it is wrong, it is wrong. If it is correct, it is correct. And therefore, the world will surely hate. You can see the political tension with the church and the state, not only in our country, in many countries. There is always the tension between the church and the state in many, many parts of the world. And Sri Lanka is not an exception. 
So, in that way we as Christians not as not only as priests and religious as nuns every Christian has that duty to be a prophet by the right of his baptism. So, in that way we are supposed to tell the world what is right and what is wrong if it is necessary. So, the world will hate, might persecute, might kill us, but then that is how they treated it, did, it treated Christ as well. So, Jesus says, if they treat you like they tra treated me, be happy. So, dear friends, as Christians, our calling is to not to move with the world and its trends and what it gives us as pleasures. We have a moral conduct, we have our way of living and we are supposed to tell what is right or we are, we are supposed to follow first for ourselves what is right and what is wrong according to our teaching. Not to move with the world, but to move the world. So, therefore, dear friends, it is very challenging task. It is very, very challenging. G. K. Chesterton again says, Christianity is not for the faint-hearted. It is for the strong-hearted because it challenges, it must challenge. It challenges us individually, it will challenge the community, it will challenge the world. So, therefore, dear friends, if we are hated by the world for our belief, if we are hated by the world for our moral conduct, if we are hated by the world for who we are, then as Jesus told, rejoice and be glad because it treated me also the same way. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful moment that you have given us. Send us your Holy Spirit so that we may be strengthened and inspired by the Holy Spirit to live our Christian calling, our baptismal calling to be a prophet, to be your mouthpieces. Help us to move the world, not so much to move with the world, so that we may tell the world that we are followers of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.